Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt, I am the American Canadian Gamer, and welcome back to Sunday Fun Day. Today we got a very special episode for you. Today, we're going to be playing Ghostbusters for the Sega Genesis. This is a game from my childhood that I absolutely adore. I played it all the time. It is one of my favorite games of all time. Actually, I would consider this to be my favorite game ever. Probably of all time right up there with Dark Messiah of Might and Magic It's a really 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 close draw between those two games And I'm not sure which one I actually like more come to think of it But this is a game from the Sega Genesis. It is a platforming action game This is the demo plane right here You can see that it's an eight directional shooter where you go through and you have kind of a little RPG system where you collect money by catching ghosts and finding money in the in the uh, levels in order to buy upgrades for your character to go through and beat the game. Now, it's a really short game. It's really kind of easy to play. So, we're actually going to go in, and I'm actually going to go to the options, if it'll let me. And I'm going to actually put it on easy. Not because I can't beat this game on the harder modes, which I can. I can beat this game on the hardest difficulty. But it takes a lot longer because you get less money, and it's just, it's just a pain. It's a lot more boring to see it on the harder difficulties so i'm going to put on easy because i want to show you the entire game i actually want to show you this whole game so we're going to actually play it on easy so we're going to go ahead and start and here you get to choose one of three ghostbusters this game is racist you actually cannot pick you can only pick the three white ghostbusters let's put it that way you can play as peter raymond or egon they each have three different stats peter is normal speed and normal stamina uh, Raymond is slow speed and high stamina, and Egon is fast speed, low stamina. I, of course, am going to go with Peter, because I... He's probably my favorite character from the shows. It used to be Egon, but then, you know, Bill Murray, he's freaking Bill, Bur Bill Murray. But now they're sitting around a table discussing what's going on, because right now they're in a slump. Not much is happening. I think this takes place between Ghostbusters 1 and 2, I think is where this quote-unquote is canonically supposed to take place so now they're just talking recently there's been a lot of ghostly activity happening here and there i wonder if the earthquake we had yesterday had anything to do with it if so hey well thank you earthquake we'll be busy again yeah we'll have work yeah i forget that the earthquake actually could have you know hurt people but they're happy that they have work. So hello, help me Ghostbusters, ghosts have appeared in my home. So here you come to the level select screen, you can choose one of three levels. You can start off in the home sweet home, the apartment, the woody house, and the high rise building. And you can see that you get two, four, six, and eight thousand for clearing each stage. And it's pretty much meant to go from home sweet home to apartment to woody house to high rise building. And we are actually going to start in home sweet home. Now, this is the person that called you. The tables move themselves and shelves fly around in the house. I'm so afraid I can't sleep at night, and I'm begging you, please help. I've just about got all you said. Don't worry, leave it up to the Ghostbusters. Let's get out of here and take care of some business. And by that, we just mean Peter Venkman, Venkman will be the only one to get in there. So, you saw that it said Middle Ghost. Middle Ghosts are basically mini-bosses that you get extra money for clearing. So you, this is just what you were seeing in the demo. Very, very, very basic, although sometimes you still miss jumps. And I'm noticing there's a little bit of screen tearing. There's nothing I can do about it because it is on an emulator right now. But you can open saves to get monies. So yeah, I apologize for the screen tearing, but there is nothing I can do about it. Absolutely nothing. I could turn on V-Sync, but it just... This, this emulator tanks to the point where it's unrecordable with V-Sync, so... You'll just have to just have to put up with it for this video. And I jump right into a plate that does nothing. But there's the Slimer you saw me kill. They give you health and no stamina. Or health and energy. Which energy powers your special weapons. The shot I'm using now, the basic shot, it is unlimited. So I don't have to worry about energy. But you'll get like triple shots and a phase shell and some other things. That do give you a little bit more of an oomph. But you have to use energy in order to use them. And we're not going to worry about that right now. We'll use it in the upcoming stages. We'll go ahead and just take him out. We'll get down here. This is a very, very, very simple stage. The other ones aren't, you know, they're not complicated. But this one is very, very linear. I've pretty much showed you the, I have showed you the entire stage almost. There is a very, very, very small section that you miss. That's basically just a trap you fall down into. And this is the first boss. Just a little magician who summons this little guy. And this little guy that I'm fighting right now is actually the boss. You take his health down far enough. He turns into these two heads. Get rid of the one, and then we'll be able to take out the other real easy, hopefully not die because I'm bad at this game, and then you have to actually capture the ghost that comes out, just like they do in the movies. You have the ghost trap, you get three tries, and he will fly away if you fail too many times, and you need to do this in order to get the money. 
and it's all about just basically fighting with him the entire time. If you pull him too close to you by holding down the fire button for too long, he will break free. So you have to get him at just in front of the trap and start pulling him down, and then he gets sucked into the trap, and you've got it. Then you get extra monies for capturing him. If he gets away, you do not get the extra money. And I believe you do have to fight the mini bosses, but it's about whether or not you capture them that matters. So there's health, or life. I do not need energy. Red is energy, blue is life, and they'll drop either one or the other, and usually it's not the one that you need. And here we go against the first boss. I forget all the boss's names, but this guy just asks, what are you up to? You woke me up just when I was sleeping good. I mean when I'm tired, just like everybody. And this guy's a very, very, very basic boss. You do get bombs like I just threw there that you can use to take stuff out. I don't really need to use them there, but I did just because it gets rid of all those obstacles and it just makes it really easy. I don't think the bombs actually damage him, but they do take out all of his little, all the little things he spawns. Bounce over me, or not, I'll just bounce over you then. So I will stay back as far as I can and damage him. And there goes the first boss. Like I said, I'm playing this on easy mode, but I don't want this to be like a two-hour video of me playing through the entire game. It's already going to be long enough just with me on easy mode. But I want to show you this whole game because it's a really, really fun and awesome game. And there is the first piece of the puzzle, which we will get to in the storyline in a second here. But the daily Sega news, Ghost Cops bust 15th Street Spook. That would be me. Thank you very much. This is a token of my gratitude. Now I can sleep soundly. Yes, you are very welcome. Got $1,000 for that and $2,000 for clearing the stage. And I have $9,000. Now Vankman's saying, did you see that power? If a ghost tangles with me, it'll be his last mistake. We've got some money, so let's party. Strange, you know when I took out that ghost, this stone appeared. Yeah, that's the thing I picked up at the end of the fight. It looks like a piece of a stone tablet. It looks like it's really old. There's some letters inscribed on it. Well, I think there's a way we can read it. It will just take a little time. It's time to get back to work. We've got clients waiting. And that stone tablet is actually the integral piece of the story. So now here's where we get to see some of the RPG elements. There's an action... St well, <laughs> there's an action start. No, this is where you actually go to start the game. There's an item shop where you can buy items like... Uh, the, the these will refill your health the turkeys you can buy bombs and you can also buy these night vision goggles which are used for one level i don't need anything from here so now i'm going to go to the weapon shop and here's where you buy weapons and normally you don't have enough money to do this but i did this on easy so i actually have enough money to buy the triple shot which i just purchased and an energy tank and another energy tank and i'll need that and then i'll eventually buy the phaser shell I don't need the bubble or explosives, barrier, special suit. Don't need any of that stuff. All right, so now we can go ahead and action start. And part of me wants to go to the high-rise building because I actually have the gear to do it. We're actually going to go to the apartment. We're just going to do these in their order. No big deal here. And this guy's right now, I'm living in my apartment. When I woke up this morning, the place was full of water. And the guy was freezing cold, if you didn't notice. So we're going to get in here. Second case, the apartment. There are two middle ghosts in this level. So now we're actually going to open up the start menu. And we're going to select the... Well, wait, wait. We're not going to select the triple shot yet. Because there's no need to use it. Because there's there's no need. Because I'm not going to use up all the energy anyways. I don't really have a point to it. I don't want to use up all my energy before I get to a boss. That's what I was trying to say. I don't want to use up all my energy before reaching a boss. There you go. I don't think you, you can't be hurt on ladders either. So if you're if you're climbing up a ladder, you don't have to worry about the ghosts actually damaging you because they're you're on a ladder. You're immune to it. Give me the life. Thank you very much. I'm just coming over to get this safe right here. Let you pass. You saw I was immune while I was on the ladder. Get your monies. And most of these enemies are really, really easy to take care of. This game is more just really about the boss battles is really what this game is about. I don't know why I went down the ladder. I really didn't have a reason to. I could have just as easily jumped off, but hey, it's what I felt like doing at the time. We have a little safe down here. Get you. Climb on up. And we got these little ice guys here that don't take too much damage. They're a little more annoying on the normal and harder difficulties because they are a lot tankier than they are right here, but they're still not too bad. They're not too hard to take care of. And I don't think... I can't remember what's up this way. It's just a safe. Okay, I'll go back up and get it. Just come on up here, get the monies, and we're good to go. I should have bought a bomb. I did need a couple of bombs. Well, okay, you don't need them, but I thought about speedrunning this game at one point, and bombs are really useful in this area if you're trying to speedrun. 
and I would have would have really liked to have them, but you know, I'm not speed running right now, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. You use it to clear these guys out of the area so you don't have to shoot them. You can just throw bombs as they clear this stuff, and then it's really easy to take care of them. Let you through. I just need one guy to come through from the left, and he will break these last two ice blocks for me, and then I'll be able to get to the top. And we'll take on our first middle ghost for this area. Let you two pass by. See, a bomb would be really useful in this stupid situation. Get that Slimer to reappear and respawn. Give me life. Thank you very much, good sir. So we're going to actually go ahead. I do have a turkey here. A Peking duck. I apologize. It's a Peking duck. It is not a turkey. I'd also have infrared scopes as well. But the three-way shot, I will turn that on right now so we can just use it for this first boss. Encounter. This boss is a... I forget, it's just... I don't know the name. I think it's like a siren or something. It is... Just does that. You have to find the right one and shoot it, and then it, it dies. I mean, there's really not much more to say about it. And that makes... This triple shot is really good for taking on this boss. And normally, you don't have it by now. Normally, you're still using, you know, your basic shot at this point. But the triple shot makes it really easy. And on harder difficulties, I actually don't know if you have less money on hard. I actually can't remember. But this is almost was a really easy trap. But, I mean, right in front of it. Come on, get in there. There we go. Now we got the second, or the, uh, yeah, that's our second mini boss kill. First one on this level. So there is an extra grand that we'll have to spend. Give me that energy, which I actually didn't need. I'm actually not going through it really quick. That might be another thing on easy. Where you just don't burn through energy nearly as quick. A bomb would have been really useful there as well. Bombs are not bad. I should I should buy some. I should have bought some. I mean, I don't think I really need them much after this level. But they are really nice to have. And I should have had some. We'll go down this way. I actually forget what's down here. I actually forget. A lot of these areas I don't remember as well as I'd like to. Okay, yeah, I've been here. Alright, so we'll go back the way we were going before. Which is the way we need to go anyways. And there's a safe over there I need to get. I mean, these levels aren't exactly expansive Metroidvania style. There's not a ton of things to find here. But there, is, there are some hidden secrets here and there. And you were just a bomb, so you were nothing to worry about. These guys are nothing. I think you can kill them, but I just never do. Because you can just kill their tentacles anyways. I think I just went that way. I don't want to go that way again. I need to go back and I need to go up. That was not the way I wanted to go both times. I think I don't think I can make this jump either. Hey, yes, I can. What do you know? I need to go up and to the right this time. I should have gone up this first ladder to begin with, but I did want to get that safe, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. Just take you out really quick. And I'm really sad that the regular enemies don't drop health or energy, because it would be really nice if they did. Thank you for the health, Slimer. This is another boss right here, so we're going to go ahead and activate our triple shot, which is really good in this, really, really good in this level. And this guy is, he's interesting. We'll just leave him at that. He has these weird, like he's easy to take care of, but he just has really weird attack patterns and those two, he has two or three weird attacks that are just, they're, they're interesting. I really like him though, he's like an ice crystal creature. Like the enemy designs in this game are really, really, really well done. And we're gonna wait for him to come over top of the trap a little bit more. And then we're gonna start reeling him in. And get him into the trap. Come on, come on, Ghost. There you goes. There you goes. Now you're into it. All right, we'll go ahead and leave the triple shot on because we do have another boss coming up really soon. Please give me life or just give me energy that I don't need. Thank you very much, Slimer. You are such a team player. And here is the final boss of the apartment level, the snowman. I think he's the abominable snowman, I think is actually what he is. He's saying, ha ha ha, you humans think you can challenge me? Ha ha, you don't know my power. Go for it, you little runts. I'll skewer you in the bargain. He's a very, very, very friendly snowman. He's, I, I was, <laughs> I was trying to think of a bad joke to do with like Frosty the Snowman's cousin or something. I just completely lost it and it probably would have been really bad anyways. But Triple Shot does make quick work of this guy because normally you have to worry about all the little mini snow minions he spawns and, it may, and he can be really difficult to actually hit his head. But the Triple Shot can hit him from pretty much any angle. And it does, it tears him to pieces really quickly. And you may notice, <coughs> excuse me, you may notice that, uh, you don't actually capture these ghosts when they go away. 
there's a reason for that, and you'll notice we'll, we'll get to it much later in the game. But the Daily Sega News, the Ghost Cops bust the 18th Street spook this time. And we got another piece of the tablet. Now he's saying, you really saved me. I want you to have this. The Ghostbusters are real, and I'm grateful. So there's two grand for the middle ghost, four grand for clearing the room. I'm back up to $8,700. And at last, the second stone piece is in our hands. I'm going to stay glued to this stone tablet, and if we can crack the tablet's message, I think the riddle can be solved. But it'll be impossible if all the pieces of the tablet are not in place. That's right, and the day the earthquake was... Wait, wow. And the day of the earthquake was the day when the energy of the ghosts was concentrated in the city. The energy level is increasing every day, just like the Twinkie. No wonder the ghosts are starting to play rough. Okay, back to the item shop. Uh, we can buy a couple of those. We'll buy some bombas. We'll exit there. We'll go to the weapons shop. And I do want the phaser shell for this. I will buy an upgrade for our energy capacity. And we'll get out of here with $1,000 left. So now we're going to go to the Woody House, which normally you want to go to the high-rise building first, even though it's supposed to be the fourth stage. You can go here, then you'll have money to buy things to go here, because really you only need the triple shot for the high-rise building, and you need the phaser shell for the Woody House. But because I'm on easy mode, I started with more money, and it makes the game quite a bit easier. So, here's a guy with a singed head saying... Oh, excuse me. A part of my house burst into flames. My wife was seriously hurt and hard to get into the hospital. Besides that, the flames couldn't be put out with water. There's no mistake about it. It's the work of a ghost. I'm asking you all, please, to save my home and family. That's exactly what we play on doing. This one has two middle ghosts. Once again, I think the high-rise building is the only one that has three middle ghosts. But this level, you can see that it's very, very, very dark. You go through and you activate the infrared scope. And all of a sudden, you can see everything. And these last for a good little while, but you do have to get multiple ones because one will not last you. Now, when I was a kid and I played this game all the time, I actually could navigate this level without having to use the infrared scope, which was really, really nice and showed just how little of a life I had as a kid. And these ones are indestructible, the blue ones. But I can't do that anymore. I just, I don't have that memory. It's not like Rock Tunnel and Pokemon Blue. Rock Tunnel and Pokemon Blue, I can still to this day navigate without Flash. But this game... Nope, not a chance. Not a chance. But we're going to go up to the top here because the first the first of the mini bosses is actually up here. Slimer, can I have a little bit of health? Thank you very much, good sir. I really do appreciate it. We're going to get up here. We're going to activate our triple shot once again. Our three-way shot. I'm sorry. Three-way shot, not triple shot, not spread shot. And we're going to take on the first boss, which is a big old fire dragon who can actually can be a little difficult to fight on the harder settings because he has a really long-reaching attack. And if you don't get his predictions right, he can he can hurt you. He can't really defeat you. Like, he's not a big threat, but he can injure you to the point where it can threaten the rest of the level for you, especially on the final boss. So I got him down to his blue color. And the enemies do change colors based on how much health they have. He is almost done for. There we go. And this is going to be another almost as easy capture. You see, I'm not moving like left and right a lot. I'm holding left right now. But the uh, ghosts, they'll pull you back and forth. The ghosts will actually pull you. You have to fight with them. And it's a nice little fun mechanic that does happen in this game. It is a really nice little thing to have happen. You know, we're going to stick with the triple shot for now. Just for a little bit. And you're just going to have some fun with it. Because I'm not really using it. You know, there's really no reason for me to really be avoiding it. No, out of the fire. Out of the frying pan. Into the fire kind of thing. Get back up here. And there was another Slimer there. So maybe I'll be able to get some health back. Alright, get you and you. I don't know where that other Slimer went. We'll go up top here. And that is energy. Thank you, Slimer. Alright. Grab the safe, which is just a bomb. Of course it's just a bomb. Why wouldn't it be? And we'll crawl our way on through and... Monet's. And I think there's just an extra life this way, which we won't be needing, but it'll be nice to have. Slimer of all things betrayed me here. Yep, there it is, the extra life. I think you only get like two or three of those through the entire game. And I could really use some health. Slimer, are you going to respawn here? Give me some life. Of course you just give me energy. Of course, did that log respawn? Yes, it did. Oh, well, I have my Peking Duck. I don't think we're going to have to worry about health, although <laughs> we might have to if things keep up like this. 
And there goes my infrared scope. Oh my goodness, I just cannot land on these to save my life, literally speaking. Activate another infrared... Oh, I just turned it off. Okay. Infrared scope. And we'll go on down. We'll find our second boss down here. Get rid of that bat enemy up there. Those are basically like the... Well, you see what just happened there. I was about to explain what they do, but he went ahead and gave me an object lesson, so... I think that's how you properly say that. Object lesson? Is that right? Somebody, you know, who's smarter than me, correct me if I'm wrong on that. I would really like to know. I could use a little bit of energy. Why not? If I go to the left here, that actually takes you to the beginning. Like, the actual beginning. There's a door on your right that you can't walk through, but, uh... You can go out and that way to get back through. English! Words, what are they? Who knows? And these ones you just have to wait on, and I decided, hey, maybe I don't have to wait on it. I can get through it just fine, and no, I'm just an idiot. But fortunately, this boss, especially with the triple shot, or the three-way shot, is easy enough to take care of. He's just quick as his only, is his gambit, but you can hit him pretty much any angle because of the triple shot, three-way shot. I'm going to say that every time. I'm not even going to care about it anymore. It's the triple shot. That's exactly what it is. You can hit him in the angle. You have to hit him in the head. I can't just shoot him in the body. It has to be that little head he has is what I have to take care of. But you can see I can just aim up. I don't actually have to get too close to him to take care of him because of this thing. And we're going to take this boss down. We're going to capture him. And then I'm going to need a three-second break to get a drink. So come on, come on, ghost. Get in here so that I can refresh myself and continue this video. There we go. There we go. I've got it. So we're going to go ahead and pause, and I am going to take a little break. Okay, what was like 10 minutes for me was only a few minutes for... <laughs> a few minutes, a few moments for you. So now we're back, I'm refreshed, my throat is rehydrated, and I'm back and ready to go through and finish this game up. We can do this. If, as long as I don't get killed by the fire that does the exact same thing every time. I always have trouble with this fire, by the way, too. I don't know what it is about that fire. It always gives me such a hard time. Got more of these bat guys, which are easy enough to take care of. And I actually consider this game... Excuse me, to be one of the, uh... No, I don't know why I keep saying excuse me. I, like, have little burps and coughs that you can't hear, but just out of habit, I have to say excuse me, which I'm getting distracted now. But this game is, I think, one of the best tie-in games to ever exist. Like, this game could have been so much worse. It easily could have been just an awful, awful cash-in, like a lot of the other Ghostbusters games that existed, but this was actually a competent, well-done game that I'm very happy exists, because it's just a really, really good game. And definitely from the Genesis era, it's one of the better games to exist. Here we get to find the final boss of this level, so I'll activate the phaser shell, which actually the triple shot, <coughs> excuse me, is really good here as well. But I bought this for here, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. And this is basically, I forget his name, I think his name is like Wallface, like it's, or Fireface, that's this guy's name. And this thing does a lot of damage to them. It's slow moving, but it penetrates targets. And I'm actually having a really hard time hitting them. I used to never have trouble with them. You know, we're actually going to go to the triple shot. We're actually going to go to the triple shot. I'm having way too much trouble with it. Way, 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 way too much trouble. It's a very powerful weapon that I'm glad I'm going to have later on. I don't need it specifically for this fight, even though it's really good to have. But, um... Later on down the road, the phaser shell is going to come in real handy against the Audrey 2 boss, which, <laughs> Audrey 2 boss, yes, that is a thing in this game. That is a thing in this game, and you'll see that in an upcoming level. Hopefully I won't die here. Now, granted, I have enough lives that I will be okay if something happens here, because you don't, like, restart. You just actually kind of die, mummify, and come right back to life. It's no real big deal at all, but you do have a limited number of lives. You have continues, too if I remember correctly, so I don't think there's any real way I'm going to really lose this. This guy just takes quite a while. Yeah, see, I lost all my health. I mummified. Now I'm back. This guy just takes a while, and this boss, he does not change colors based on how much he's defeated. He actually will just... No, no, he does change colors. He does become like a greenish... Yeah. Yep, he does change colors. I was starting to think maybe this boss doesn't change colors. I was, I was remembering that incorrectly. 
Okay. Because he'll, he'll eventually come through the wall as like a, just a... Yeah, there's his last color. He's going to come through the wall as like a stone face and just be crackling and breaking and he'll just he'll just die and you'll see that in a second after i finish him off and this is a fun little boss fight too this boss fight actually when i was a kid was really really hard for me i don't know why and i'm out of energy so that shot is actually just kind of minuscule now so we're back to the regular shot and i don't think there's any items you can get that actually can recharge all of your energy i don't think that's actually a thing in this game all right you have to stand closer to the edge when he does that We've almost got him. He he is almost down. He is almost down for the count. He is just about there. He should come through as dead. Yep, there he is. He's gone. He is defeated. Fireface is annihilated here. Ah, delicious hydration. Okay. There's another piece of the tablet. The third piece of the tablet. There are four pieces. There's four stages, four pieces. So now the 30th... Fifth Street Spook has been busted by the ghost cops, according to the Daily, Daily, the Daily Sega News. The Daily Sega News, thank you very much. This is to show my appreciation. Two grand for the ghosts and six grand for the level, which gives me $10,000 to spend on items. And now we've gotten the third piece of the tablet. One more and we'll have the whole thing. Boy, I've been so busy. I really feel done in just once. I'd like to have time for a date. What are you talking about? Have a look at this. Since we got the stone tablet, the energy level has gotten very high. Don't you think that the tablet has the power to collect the power of the ghosts? Well, anyways, we've got all the pieces of the We need to get... We've got to get all the pieces of the tablet. How do you read words? And you know... I really have to learn how to do voices. I that, that would make this so much more entertaining if I could actually do voices. I need to I need to learn how to start doing some voices. So we're going to go to the item shop. Is there anything I can buy here? I'm going to buy another turkey or a Peking duck. I'm sorry. It's a it looks like a turkey to me. Okay. We want another energy upgrade. So we have max energy. Or not max energy, but we're getting close to max energy. What do we have here? Special suit. Don't need you. Explosives. Not really a thing I need. Energy regen sold out, so I can't get it yet. Bubble projectile. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. What is this? The barrier? Don't need you. You're 35,000 anyways. Ah, uh, should I get the bubble projectile? You know what? I'm going to do it just for you guys. Just for you guys. I am going to do it. So we're going to start the action. We'll get $8,000. <coughs> Excuse me. I, I'm just coughing now. $8,000 for clearing the high-rise building, which is going to be enough to purchase the next upgrade for our energy tank. So I have plenty of energy to use. And now the lady, I think it's a lady that, or it is a very, very bad cross-dresser, is saying there is some sort of strange entity in my penthouse. Well, you being Ghostbusters, can't you hurry up and find them? If things like stay like this, the value of my penthouse will fall. Yes, it will. Or, depending on who wants to buy it, it might actually go up. I don't know. I As long as they're not violent, I wouldn't mind living in a... Pl or, you know, they don't like doing jump scares. I wouldn't mind living with ghosts. So now we have the bubble projectile. Wait, listen to this. Is that not great? But that's what it does. It just takes them and it just runs off with them. There's really... Or some it'll just destroy. I mean, it's not really amazing, but uh, it's great for taking care of some enemies. Like, do you see those coffee cups up there? And, okay, those knives... Those knives, they, they they take a few hits. See those coffee cups? Watch watch this. Look how many hits these things take. Look at that. But if you go to the bubble, just gets on rid of them. And here, this stage is actually watched over by the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. So in some areas, when you're going through, he will try to kill you. So you have to be really careful about what you're doing. Bubbles... Can I get you with this? It just kills him outright. Will that get rid of you? No, it actually just damages you because you're just a ghost in a cloth. Don't know why it doesn't work on you, but it just doesn't. All right, go through here. Woo, I forgot about you. How are you doing? Nice to see you too. I actually went the wrong direction. There was another direction I should have gone first because there's mini bosses you have to fight. You can't fight the Marshmallow Man on this level until you clear the mini bosses. So we're actually going to go back. Because there's one mini boss, one middle ghost that's actually out of the way before you get to the Marshmallow Man, and then the last one's right by the Marshmallow Man. Okay. 
Actually, are there? Oh, excuse me, I'm yawning now. So what happens when you do extended time videos? Is they that just it happens? I think there's only two. Yeah, there's only two. Wow, it's down in the bottom right hand corner. I was trying to remember. Hey, are there only one or two mini bosses? No, it's down. It's actually written on the screen in the bottom right hand corner that there are only two mini bosses. One is this way. And the other is actually right by the Marshmallow Man. So we might as well take this one out first. Give me health. Give me life. Thank you. I needed that. Now we need the triple shot, the three-way shot for this boss. Although, you know, I'm actually going to try the phaser shell on him. I've never tried the phaser shell. And it actually hits him multiple times, which might be the best thing to take him out. Because he actually will split into multiple segments. Although, I'm actually going to go back to the three-way shot. And he'll do this. This this boss is really annoying. Really, 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 really annoying. I don't think bombs do anything. And you see he'll split up like that. This is where a triple shot is just good. Just clears this guy up like he's nothing. And there's one more floating around. Otherwise, I'd be trying to capture a ghost. There he is. You come here, my pretty. I'll capture you, and you'll give me another thousand dollars that I can spend. Thank you very much. I've got it. All right, cool. So now that he's taken care of, we can go to the next areas. <laughs> I jumped right into him because I'm really bad at this game. All right, let's move on through. There's the Marshmallow Man. He's in the background. I don't know if I pointed him out earlier. He'll come back across. He's taking peeks at me. This is my peeping Tom right here. Just go under you, not too concerned. I thought I could duck under the knife. Apparently, flying knives, sentient flying knives, are a little smarter than you give them credit for. I'm going to have to spend my next duck. Hey, and I actually called it a duck for a change. I'm going to have to use my next duck on this. I don't know how he damaged me. We'll use the duck. We'll go for it. Why not? Why not? We need the health. I'm not I'm not going to lose too much. The Marshmallow Man will probably take a life away from me just because he's... He, he hits you with a lot of different attacks, and a couple of them are very hard to avoid. The others are pretty easy to avoid because they only come from the sides. But his main two attacks, especially one of them, is a homing attack. That's really difficult to avoid. I was going to say, one of you should have been a ghost. Should have been a ghost in a sheet. Get you, get rid of you. We're getting up to the boss really soon. Up here is just a safe, I believe. And you give me life when I could use energy. Thank you very much, Slimer. You are a true champion and friend to me. Stay Puffed is still following my progress through this building. Don't worry, when we get to the top of the building, he is going to be our first main target when we get up there. Now we just got a little swim segment. I don't think there's actually anything this way. Let me double check. There might be a safe. Nope, there's nothing. There is no reason to go that way at all. Make our way down. Fight these guys again. Which those guys, once again, they're very, very easy to take care of. They regenerate, but they're not really a threat. That's just a couple of bombs, so I don't have to worry about getting that back. Get above you, and we'll go fight the next boss, which is right up this way. Just off to the right. There's another Slimer, which I'm actually going to let you live because I'm going to need you after. Now we'll use the, uh, the three-way shot's really good. Get out of here, Slimer. Get out of here. There you go. And this guy, you can only damage when he opens up like that. Oh, no, I can damage him anytime. times. Is it because I'm using the three-way shot? It's just really easy to hit him with it? What is this? But again, this is going to be a nice, easy fight. Man, I took out his project. I didn't know you could destroy his projectile. After, out of all the times I've played this game, I did not know that. I had no idea. Since I was a kid, I had no idea that you could do that. Not a clue, but we'll capture him, get another $1,000. And you need to wait for that ladder to come down. If you leave here before the ladder gets all the way down, you cannot... Go up it to fight the Marshmallow Man, and you actually get stuck. 
which is not a good thing. So now we're going to go fight the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man who has a different origin than the one from the movie. This is not the same one from the movie. This is a different Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man with a different origin. Do you know how good toasted marshmallows taste? I love marshmallows, but one day I ate too much and then I realized I had become the Marshmallow Man. I'll do the same to you. You'll enjoy it. Yeah, this man became the Marshmallow Man by eating too many marshmallows. That is apparently how you become a giant monstrosity, is just by eating too many marshmallows. We're just gonna just lay into him with these with these shots here. Makes it really easy to target him. Those blue laser eyes that he fires, they're 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 easy enough to avoid. I'm just bad. His arms are hard to avoid, and that fire attack is that fire attack that is a homing attack. That's really difficult to avoid because it actually goes into the air as you jump. So a lot of times when you go to jump over it, it can be difficult. I'm trying to stay between his eyes because that's the best way to avoid his laser attack. And you can only hit him like right in the face. But that attack is a little harder to avoid because of that. The lasers aren't so bad. It's the fire attack when his eyes glow red. That is very difficult. And this guy does not change colors. He just dies. He does not change colors. He will just go down. Oh, what? It was like I got stuck for a second. You saw that little graphical glitch? I don't know what that was, but now the Stay Puffed has been taken care of with three little life bars left. For once, he did not take a life from me. We'll get the last of the four stone tablets, which will continue the plot as I do my little dance getting the, getting the stone there. And that is the 59th Street Spook has been busted by the Ghost Busters. They call us the Ghost Cops, not the Ghost Busters. I don't know why. But here's for your services. I wonder if it's not a little too much. No, no, I just bought a giant man made of marshmallows. That is not too much money. But now it's done. We finally got all the pieces together and now let's try to solve the mystery. What? There's nobody left here. Hey, I've, we've got a letter. If you ever want to see those two people again, bring the tab tablet to the old castle located outside of town. Signed, Arthur. Exactly who is Arthur? Peter Venkman asks, wow. Complete mind freeze right there. And the guy walks in and says, I'll tell you, since you are a good customer of mine, yeah, I've spent like 20 grand buying stuff from you. Tell me, Grandpa, do you know this, Arthur? In a word, a long time ago, Arthur was just like you and did research on ghosts. He came to my shop often, but after he found the tablet you're holding, he disappeared. What sort of power does the tablet have? I didn't have any, I don't have any idea, but it has some relation to the recent activity of the ghost for sure. Well, anyways, I'm going to rescue my friend. So, we're going to go to the item shop. We'll buy us another turkey. <laughs> another duck. I'm sorry. We'll go to the weapon shop. We'll... I think this is the max. Yep, now I have 4,000 left to spend, which I can't afford anything right now. I could afford the special suit if I didn't spend all of my money. But now I have maximum energy reserves. And now we get to go to the castle. And it is night. Go all the way up there. The fifth case, the castle, it has four middle ghosts, and that is Arthur. So you've come, hand over the tablets. Okay, I understand. Finally, all the pieces are in place. I failed once, but I'll succeed this time. With this, my long years of effort will pay off. Now give me, give my friends back to me. Both of them are in the castle somewhere. Look for them as you like. I don't know if any of them are okay or not. I don't know if they are okay or not. Wow. I don't know if any of them are okay or not. Is that even a real sentence? I mean, is that a thing? By the way... Music. Is that not awesome music? All right, but yes, we are in the castle, which this is this place is much more of a maze than the other levels. And I actually, I'm not sure where I'm going <laughs> now that I think about it. And I stood right up into that. So we'll just kill this barrier here. We do have a lot of things to shoot through and get through in this area. And this is in the most inconvenient spot. I wonder, does a phaser shell hit that while I'm just standing up? Yes, it does. Perfect. Phaser shell. Thank you very much for being a thing. That is a kamikaze teddy. You stay away from me. <laughs> Those little teddy bears are actually a major threat. I actually don't think I've been this direction. I don't remember this spot. What am I doing here? What is this? Okay, avoid. I said avoid those things. Get up here. 
All right, we'll go to the right. We'll, we'll pop in the phaser shell. And we'll kill that thing. Only oh, takes two phaser shells, too. Ooh, hi, what's up? All right, here's where the phaser shell comes in handy. I think you need the phaser shell to damage the ghost. All right. Oh, it's not showing me it. I forgot about that. All right, I actually have to damage the ghost behind the ghost buster here. Which, it's really hard because there's a firing delay. With the, uh, nope, I can only do it from behind. Oh, well. Oh, I'll leave the phaser shell on. Oh, that was a lot of damage. And the ghost is just pretty much trying to make you kill your friend here, is what's, is what's going on. But, there we go. He's really easy because the phaser shell, I did get that one really good hit where the shell just sat there trying to just, you know, absorb him. And so you see you're rescuing your friends actually by fighting other Ghostbusters, which is a really good little concept, but Egon has been saved. So now he's saying, I've got it, I got the ghost. Egon goes back to the shop, and we get to continue our way. We have to find, um, we have to find Ray. I almost forgot his name. I almost forgot his name. Ghostbusters is my favorite movie of all time, and I almost forgot the name of m one of my favorite char characters from the movie. All right, you're going to break out of your little prison there, which this castle is really freaking creepy, by the way, and I love it. Like, it's not, like, scary. Like, no, this isn't scary, but it's, like, a good kind of fun creepy. I really like it. <sighs> I'm going to get killed by, oops, every little thing that I come across. Go. Just. <laughs> ah, Peking Duck. Alright, I can't remember if I want to go to the right or the left. I'm going to go to the right, though. Up here, I believe, there is actually an extra life. Yep, right there. I think those are. I think you only get like two or three of those in the entire game. Like, this game is not very forgiving in that aspect. So we'll get up here. And there's another boss in here, and I think this is a good phaser shell ball. Oh, no, yep, yep, phaser shell, because it's another Ghostbuster. It's Ray! And I shot Ray. You can see the ghost laughs when it happens, because that's exactly what he wants you to do. And there we go, he's taken care of. See, that's nothing, that was like, what, three or four shots with the phaser shell? Three or four good shots with it? Just hold him over it and pull him in. So now I have saved the other two Ghostbusters. They are back and he is really, really surprised. That was really creepy. But now we've got it. We can go back to the triple shot. We can keep moving on. I do have bombs. I have to remember that I do have bombs at my disposal. Alright. Forget exactly what is this way. Give me energy. I actually do forget what we have this direction. Which should come as a surprise to absolutely nobody. Which I think there's just a mini boss up here. There's another boss up this way. Oh, you changed directions? What? There we go. Yep, this is another boss. This is the boss I thought I was just going to fight a second ago. Which I think this is a good phaser shell boss as well. Even though the phaser shell is such a slow firing rate, it does a ton of damage. It really does. That's a really cheap... Tactic, by the way, boss. You know, you have a higher firing rate, so we're just going to go with you. Because you have a much higher firing rate. Yeah, this is one of those bosses that's basically really, really hard to predict and avoid. And there I've lost another Ghostbuster. Fortunately, I just picked one up. I actually haven't gone lower than the lives you start with because I've collected... I've lost two lives, but I've collected two extra lives, so I'm still at the default number of lives. Gosh darn it! This boss is really being annoying. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I actually think I like Audrey too more than I like you. Get you in there. Which is weird. There's an Audrey 2 boss if that's based... In, and there's an Audrey 2 boss in a game based on a movie that had Rick Moranis in it who also starred in Little Shop of Horrors. Yeah, that's a thing. Alright, come on out of your prison. That was a very wrong way to approach that situation for you. Aw, oh, you son of a gun. You'll notice the Slimers, they actually don't respawn. 
So now we gotta go back this way. What's down here? What do we got down here? More guys. That- none of those shots hit you! What a ninja. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't think those things could actually reach me down here. Alright. Really? That's what's this way? Was none nothing, basically? That was back to the beginning that I came from? And then it's one of the little amoebas. One of the first enemies you come across is the one that gets me. You know what? Bomb. I don't even care. I don't even care right now. No cares were given. I am so bad at this game. I am so, so, so bad. Ooh, there's safes over there. What do we have this way? This is the last middle boss, which I think is a good three-way shot fight. And now we get to fight the Grim Reaper himself. Yeah, this is a triple shot fight. Oh, stay away! You pinned me in a corner! Not cool, buddy. Not cool. Oh, this fight. Okay, maybe a phaser shell won't be bad on this guy. If I can even hit him, my goodness, there I got him once. I'm going to lose another life here. It is actually going to happen. <laughs> ah, these boss fights. If I could hit him, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but I can't hit him worth anything. That was right in his face. That should have hit him. We're going back to the three-way shot, because that phaser shell is just not giving me any help at all. I was having more luck with the triple shot. See, I'm actually hitting him. Now look, he's down to his red coloring. He's almost done for, too. Oh, I can kill those things, too? What? Oh, I'm learning so much about this game. All right, get you down here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What? You were right over the trap. That should have been a cap. Oh, no, I only have one more shot now because he broke free of that one. Okay, I was going to say, you are not getting away from me after that little fight you just put me through. No, 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 you are getting captured. There is no way you're getting away with that one. Alright, so now we'll go to the normal shot since we're so low on energy now. I mean, we got some back from that, but I really need to save it for Audrey 2. Which I don't think Audrey 2 is actually the name of the boss, but we're going to call it Audrey 2. And you'll see why, because it really is just Audrey 2. Get through these safes. Get some money. Those guys respawn. Those guys respawn too. Wonderful. But we'll go up. Ooh, what's this way? Hold on. Hold on, we got more exploring to do. There's two of those Teddy Kamikazes, which there's nothing down there. So there's no reason for me to go there. You are running this direction, but you're not much of a threat. You are just going to fall down there. I am going to come up here. I'm going to kill a Slimer. Give me energy. Give me that red. Or the blue. I guess the blue works as well. I didn't really need it. Okay, I need to get that way. Give me the red. Oh my goodness, Slimer, I have full health and I'm missing energy, and that's what you give me? No, oh, Slimer is not a team player. Alright, alright. This is how you get that safe over here. Come on, give me red. Give me red. Thank you, Slimer, you actually did something. I got some more money, which will help me out in the future. That's going to drop down over here. Maybe? Maybe because his destruction happened off screen, I didn't get anything because I was falling through a platform? And he doesn't respawn. Thank you, game. I appreciate that one. Now we need a phaser shell for this guy. Finish you off, and then we're gonna we're gonna leave the phaser. Oh, it stood me up when it got out of the pause screen right into the shot. 
Here is Audrey 2, the final boss of the castle. Is that not Audrey 2? You came at a good time. Just now I'm very hungry. I'll even eat Arthur, that rat fee fi fo fum you can't really think of ruling us. That doesn't really rhyme very well. He should have shut up, shut up and collected the tablets. Now I'll have a pleasant dinner. The menu features the Ghostbusters. Let's eat. Yep. I have to time the shots just right. Basically is what has to happen. That looked like it hit. Not sure. I have to avoid all these little extras that she throws out at me. Which, that one was a miss as well. That was a miss too. The fight's simple. The fight's easy. It's just, you know, you need to... There's timing and there's waiting to be done with it. It's just really... Really, really difficult to take care of sometimes. So, we're just waiting and getting all these shots in. Getting hit by the little guys. There's what I'm trying to avoid. That was the whole purpose of the bombs here. Which I could just keep firing when I think it's about to happen, and then eventually hit it. I've almost got Audrey 2 down as well. This fight is almost over. You are almost done for. That should have been a hit. That one really should have been a hit. There we go. Audrey 2 is taken care of, and now we will get the last piece of the tablet, which actually goes right in the center. Do the little dance here. Ghost bust the 75, 75th Street Spook. Then the guy asked, did Arthur die? Once he was my friend. After he found the stone tablet, he changed, but a long time ago, he was a good person. This time to restore Arthur's good name, I'll pay you for your costs. We did it. Boy, we were lucky. Four ghosts, $4,000 plus 9,000 for completing something to 19,000. Arthur is a no-good rotten rat to think that we have to get involved with in his schemes. It's unimaginable. The stone tablet has the power to control the ghost, but Arthur is absolutely no good at using it. Doesn't this red bead need to be put in the center of the stone tablet? Okay, let's just do it. It fits just right. And then there's an earthquake because they put a little stone skull into the tablet, into the center of the tablet. And they just probably killed like, you know, 500 people at least. Right? There. I mean, look at that. A giant sinkhole that opens up. I mean, that's thousands of people probably just died. Hey, have a look at the TV. An earthquake made a giant hole in the center of the city. This is terrible. Don't touch that stone tablet from studying the deciphering the stone tablet. I've learned its secret. The tablet on the seal of the door to the world of evil by placing the red jewel called the Eye of Flame in the hole at the center of the tablet. The corridor to the evil world is open. You couldn't say that before putting that in the stone tablet. Oh, come on, how can you say something like that? It's already been done. Did you say it's already been done? When we put the, in the jewel, the earthquake occurred and the giant hole opened up in the city. So I guess that hole is the corridor to the world of evil right in New York City. What are the odds of that happening? We did something terrible. What shall we do? What's going to happen now? There is a way. In order to close the corridor we opened, we should put a jewel called the Storm's Calm into the tablet. Where is that jewel? I don't see it anymore, but... And a guy walks in. He says, excuse me for the sudden interruption. As a representative of the mayor, I'd like to ask if you have seen the television reports of ghosts springing out of a giant hole in the ground. The entire city has been brought to a standstill. I have heard you people are experts at getting rid of ghosts, and I'll do whatever is in my power if you'll just please help us. Okay, we understand. Leave it up to us. I appreciate your saying so. I'm thankful and ask that you do and ask for you to do whatever you can. And everybody, let's not say anything about the earthquake being our fault. Anyways, let's get into that hole. All right, Ghostbusters, let's go. So now, into the item shop, we'll buy another Peking Duck. And we'll, we'll not buy that. We don't need that. We'll exit here. That was not what I wanted. I wanted to go weapon shop. And then we need to buy... We need to buy some... Well, there's not really much we can get. We'll get the special suit. We have the money for it. Why not? Explosives might as well, since we have the money. And then we'll go into the item shop, and we'll get... Because this is the very last level, we might as well buy as many bombs as it'll let us, and we'll exit with $2,000 up. Then I will return really shortly. All right, once again, what was only moments for you was minutes for me, so we're going to start our action, and it's the final case, the deep hole with four middle ghosts. <clears throat> Excuse me. This level, I don't remember at all. This is, oh, I'm on my last life, too. Oh, that's bad. 
this is a really... This is probably the most maze-like level in the entire game. Well, it's the last level. Of course it is. And I don't want to use up any of my energy. Not a bit of it. Because the four middle ghosts... I'm going to leave you alive because I'm going to need you later. Are ones we've encountered already. And down here is our first one. Which you are... It is this guy again. Which we've seen him before. Wait, I've never used this. Explosives, what is this? Ow! Oh. It's that shot. Okay, basically a cluster bomb. Alright, but no. The four middle ghosts here are the four ghosts that we fought through the entire game. The four final bosses of the game are the four mini-bosses of the final level, which is a really, really nice touch that I do really enjoy. But I have enough bombs that they're not really all that hard to take care of. And with the spread shot, this guy is a really easy fight. Because you can just stand here shooting him and shooting all of his stuff simultaneously. Bounce over me, please. Thank you. I really appreciate it because I don't really want to lose a lot of health on this final level before we get to the final boss of the game. That would be really bad to just lose there. I think you get continues, but I really don't want to get to that point because I'm playing on easy. I'm playing on easy and I'm having these issues. Oh, jeez. How much damage does the phaser shell do to this guy, I wonder? A lot, it would appear. Oh, we'll go back to the triple shot, because that's all I'm going to need to take care of him. Let him go do his thing, and we'll be able to finish him off in this life. This will be an easy little fight to finish up. Maybe? Possibly? Oh, he's going to go through one more phase, because I'm a bad at this game. Oh, he should have hopped earlier. I was thinking he was going to hop right over top of me, and he just didn't. Go ahead and throw a bomb to get all that stuff out of the way. And there he's taken care of. Finally, he goes down, but he'll turn into a ghost that we actually have to capture, but we don't get anything for capturing him. This time around, there's really no point to doing it because there's no level after this. You don't have anything to buy. There is no real reason for it. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and just capture this all this ghosty here. He was just out of the range of the gun for like three shots. And just pull you into the trap. Come on, you want to go You want to go this way? Because when you pull them closer to you, they're actually, you can pull them around and you can move them. But when you pull them closer to you, you risk them breaking free. But if you let them go as far away from you as they can, they will actually pull you around, which is really a pain in the butt. And they always move away from the trap. They always do. Shield, special suit, what does that do? Is that just, oh, it, okay, so it, it protects me, but it uses my energy consistently. That's right. We'll go to explosive shots. Oh, no, that uses a whole energy bar when it fires. I do not want to use that. No, 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 no. Gosh darn it. Cacti. Slimer, give me... I'll take energy, I guess. I mean, I really would have preferred health there, but I will, I will do with energy this time. All right, which way do I want to go now? Oh, gosh darn it. Stop that! Oh my goodness! What is with that thing? That thing really had it out for me, didn't it? My goodness! Oh, well. Continue! Action start. Okay, so the continue isn't really that big of a loss. I still can't believe I went through all my continues on easy mode in this game. Do you know how embarrassing that is for me? As someone who knows this game really well, except for like a few of the lesser known end areas, I... Oh, these guys are... What is it? What the, the, the... What is it with you? Why are you after me so... Oh my goodness! What was that? Why are they so... Wow. I'm going to lose another life! Those things were on, like, steroids this time around. They were really aggressive towards me. I've never seen them do that. So who do we get to fight here? This is the snowman, I think. Yeah, it's the snowman. Which he's not damageable yet. But he will, as soon as he is, he will get damaged. Oh my goodness, I have an easier time fighting the bosses than I do fighting those guys. What was that? Did you see how just aggressive they were? If I did triple shot activated, I probably actually just could have gone right through them. But I'm really worried about using up all my energy because I'm fighting, you know, the four bosses here. I don't want to use up all of my energy fighting the little minions. Now I'm down to two lives left total. Zero does count as a life in this. So I do have two lives, even though it says times one. I, well, I have one remaining. Okay, yeah, I have one remaining, then it's zero. Okay, no, zero doesn't count as a life. What am I saying? I'm stupid. Ignore what I'm saying. Just focus on the bosses here. Who is almost down. He will be dead very shortly. Come on. Just just walk into it. Just walk into it. Just keep on walking. 
or floating or whatever it is you're doing, hovering, you're taken care of back to regular shot. And now we can capture Zia's as a ghost. Even his head has an arm and a face. Did you see that his hat? His hat had an arm and a face. This is such a creative game. I love it. I absolutely adore this game on every possible level. But now we've got it. And so now there's two more mini bosses left. And then there's the final boss of the game. Oh, let's see. Gotta go this way. I need to get up. Up is where I need to go. Why won't you let me go up? Do I have to go down and left before I can go? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, these things. Look at look at that. They were just... Oh my goodness. No. Triple shot. You are not going to fight me anymore like that. None of you are. <laughs> I have had enough of your shenanigans up until this point. You are done. How am I supposed to get back up? What? Why can't... Why won't the game let me make this jump? What is so... Wrong. Okay, wow, that was like a pixel-perfect jump. Oh my goodness. Alright, we go up Yandas. And I believe to the right... This way. I don't think that- I don't think this is a boss. I think this is... <clears throat> I'd forget what this is. Oh, come on. I think up and to the right is the actual final boss of the thing which you can't get to until you've defeated all the others and this is going to be Audrey 2 ladies and gentlemen once again that was a hit I heard the hit sound there's another hit there's another it sounded like that was not a hit That was a hit. There we go. We're getting it. We're getting it. This boss, like, I mean, I want to say more about it, but we just fought this guy, so it's kind of hard to discuss this fight when I've already fought this one multiple times. When I've already fought this one so recently. Wasted a bomb, yes, on one. I know. I know. There was no reason to. But the boss is almost done for. This is a nice little creative fight, though. I do like this. Like, this game is full of creativity just in every area. This is such a creative game. I love it. Come here. Right into the trap. That was an easy cap. Okay, so now we got one more middle boss left, who is the... The fire one. Fireface. Of course, Fireface is going to be the last one. Why wouldn't he be? And he is off in this direction, I believe. Which is one of the only directions I haven't gone, so, you know, the chances of it are very likely... I'll take energy. I will not oppose some energy. Yeah, Fireface is just over here. Look at this thing. You know what? I could just bomb. I have so many bombs. Why am I just not using bombs on everything? Okay, here's Fireface. Which, I'm going to stick with the three-way shot on him right here. He's going to be a lot easier to fight here because there's actually room to fight him. I mean, like, there's actually legitimate, you know, room here. I don't have to worry about that one platform. Although, I think his little minions get trapped in here with me. I think is a thing that happens. Yeah, so, yeah, this room is actually going to fill up with minions if I don't take care of him really quickly. Oh, no, no, that one just left, so maybe not as much as I th uh, previously thought. I don't know. Maybe they just disappear after a certain period of time because the game cannot handle all of them on screen at once. Yeah, that one just disappeared. The Genesis probably couldn't handle having that many enemies on screen at one time if you just let the game go. So they do have their own despawn time. Okay, so there's not going to be any more than maybe like two or three out at a time, which is not that hard to take care of. But this fight is so much easier than the last one because it's so so much simpler just to find the angle to shoot him at. You know? So, so, so much simpler. He should be about down to his third color. Wow, he is actually gonna kill me. That is a thing that is going to happen. I'm gonna lose I'm gonna have to go through like two continues on the final level of this game. But I want to show it to you. I want to show you the game, so I'm going to go, I'm going to get, I'm going to put up with it to show it to you.
Oh, there goes a life. I couldn't avoid that. No matter what I'd done, there would have been no avoiding that shot. He should be about gone for, though. He should be about <laughs> gone for. He should be about done for. Ah, okay. Yeah, he should have almost no health left if he has any left at all. Yep, there he goes. He is defeated. Go back to regular shot so I don't forget. And I'll get some energy back for defeating him if I capture... I think I have to capture the ghost to get the energy back. Or it's just after this little fight concludes, whether I capture the ghost or not, I believe. But I got the ghost, so I should get some energy back from that. That is the last mini-boss of the, of the level. I got a little bit of energy back, and it should be enough to help me at least take on the final boss. Hopefully there's going to be a Slimer on the way that will help me get stuff back. I didn't even see the bomb that I threw. It was like it was invisible almost, but I'm glad I have it. I have one bomb left. Get past those. Those little cacti plant things. I, I know they're not cacti, but I, I just call them cacti because they look like cacti to me. I think up here is the way I want to go. Give me something. Give me, give me something good. Okay, life. I guess that's a thing. I think this is the final boss area. Yep, you can see it on the mini-map. I'm the blue dot, and the boss is the red dot, so take a drink really quick. I still have my Peking Duck. I have one bomb. They're on the phaser shell. They're on the three-way shot. <laughs> Let's do it. Are you the one who woke me up? Thank you. My name is Janna, the Lord of Death and Destruction. Your world will soon be ruled by the power of the world of darkness. You'll be my very first victim. You should feel very honored. <laughs> my voices are awful. My voices are actually awful, but the boss changes forms and goes into this giant old beastie here, which actually phaser shell is what I want here, I believe. Yeah, phaser shell is what I want. Oh, I forgot you throw that thing. Okay. That just bounces right over top of me. This, on the other hand, comes right for me. And this this boss, I think, is two or three... Wow, that bounced a lot higher than I realized it would. This boss is two or three uh, phases. I think it's a two-phase boss. So go ahead and throw that thing at me. There you go. You got it. And there goes your arm. So now you're going to fly around at me throwing that thing, if I remember correctly. Yep, now is your death form. Which I think I just have to run from you for this form. Which, some areas you just can't run from in this. Okay, Peking Duck, get you back. Can I hit you at all, please? I'd really like to. I'd really like to kill you if that could, if that's okay with you. And now I'm out of energy completely. I have no bombs, I have no ducks. <laughs> it is just me and the basic weapon of the game. And you are way out of my range. Can you at least come down to where I can shoot you? At least make this a fair and competitive fight? Please, I would have really greatly appreciated if you would. Look at this, look at this thing. The Lord of Darkness, Death and Destruction does not play fair. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to lose to this person. Yes, I am. I'm going to die on this fight. Ugh. Okay, okay. Tense moments. Tense moments. I'm... I walked right into it. There was no avoiding her at that point. Either I go to the left and I get hit with that freaking weapon, or I go to the right and I get, you know, hit by it directly. Oh, there's nothing in the weapon shop I can buy, is there? Oh, I have the special suit! I think the special suit will protect me. We'll buy some bombs. We'll get some bombs. I'll save $1,000 at least for the Peking Duck. Action start. And I'm... Oh, I have to make my way all the way back to the boss. Oh. All the way back. Which I forget where I'm going. I won't... Oh. Oh, I'm going to find my way back, and I'll skip to when I actually get to the boss. Okay, we're back at the boss now. You can see that I lost a life, and I'm down a little more life, but I have full energy. I didn't want to use anything special to get here, but now I know my way back here. So if that happens again, which it won't, I'll be able to find my way back here just fine and dandy. So Janna, let's go. Let's do it. I'll get you this time. I have a duck. I have full energy. If I had full energy in our last encounter, 
it would have been different. Get to where I can damage you. This is the easy phase of the fight. How is that heart still hitting me right there? I should have been out of its range. Duck under you that time. I'll get smart about it. Ah, oh, already popping ducks. Already popping the duck. But at this point, there is really no way I can fully lose this fight. Unless I keep doing stupid things like that. But no, look, I have almost full health, almost full energy. Now you're in this phase. This is your easy to fight phase. Well, it's easy to fight you when I have the uh, phaser shell. There we go. There we go. This boss has a really nice, like, you know, samurai-esque monster design to it, too. Which, you're gonna go down here. Unless you keep trapping me in the corners like that. If I can get you to just keep throwing your thing upwards at me instead of directly at me, we could be okay. I can't see you. <laughs> Get down here where I can see you and I can fight you properly. Please. You're going to make you're making this really difficult here, Jenna. Making this really difficult here. Really difficult. Should be almost dead. Look how much energy I've gone through. And most of my shots are connecting. Except for that one, of course. There we go. Final boss is defeated. Finally. Janna is taken care of. Wow. I... Wow. That was a heck of a run. There's the Storm's Calm, which for some reason... Well, actually, no, that makes sense that the Lord of Death and Destruction would be hanging on to... The one item that could stop them. Although... <laughs> Yawn. Daily Sega News, the 17th Street Spook. Uh, yeah, the giant hole in the ground is now 17th Street. Okay, is this the storm's calm? Put it in the tablet. We did it. The cave I entrance is crumbling. All stages are clear. Bonus, 10 million points. My score is 10.19 million. I totally earned it. And there we have the repeating crowd right there. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Ghostbusters for the Sega Genesis, one of my favorite games of all time, and definitely a game that's worth a playthrough just because it's so freaking awesome. One of the best movie tie-in games ever made, and it is such a great game. It is such a wonderful experience, and I had a, so much fun playing it. I'm so happy I got to share it with you. I'm so glad I started doing Sunday Fun Day because I can do this kind of awesome stuff for you once a week that I really enjoy. I really, really hope you enjoy this video, and I... <laughs> I don't really know what else to say other than I'm happy that I beat it. Even though I played it on easy, I got my butt kicked. <laughs> oh, it's been too long since I've really played platformers and stuff. But it was great to sit down and play it. Like I said, I hope you really enjoyed it. And definitely go try it out for yourself. So, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt, and I'll see you next time.